built in 1935. Check that out. That again for me if you could. You, you can't run that prop near as fast as the engine. Because right. The tip of the blades will break the sound barrel. That's awesome. All, all of these recipient engines got prop reduction gears in that front dome up there. Overhead valve, oh, yeah. push rod operated down here. Oh, yeah. Some pretty good sized valves too. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Easy engine to work on. Sure. All the space you got around the sink. Mm -hmm. Did you look from the front of the shaft once? No. Does, does the front cylinder get the same amount of air as the back? Practically, right? Yeah, theoretically. Every engine, only recipient engine never built that way. So yes. it's got total airflow around all the cans. That's right. Somebody was thinking when they built this. And this was engineered with the slide rule days. What did this uh, mostly go in? What, uh... Well, the first ones were in a B-50, uh, uh, which they, right after the war, Boeing gave a brand new B-29 to Pratt Whitney, who mm -hmm. was in the tone put forward his own. They did. Mm -hmm. Then they c called it a B-29D model, and then Congress came unglued. We ain't spending another damn nickel on B-29s. Three and a half billion during the war. So then they named it a B-50 and they built 330 of them. <laughs> okay, that was here, one right? of the first, and a B-36. Are you allowed to go in here? You can go in there, sure. A kids go in there and for the hours at a time. Yeah, the B-50, and then, then we use them on a KC-97, a big tanker. And then uh, we used them uh, uh, on the B-36, had six of them. What's all that up into? That was all driven accessories back there, okay? Okay. See the accessories, here's, this gear comes up here to the tachometer and places like that.